Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to show you this like insidious um, kind of the nun makeup look. Now if you're anywhere close to being like me, you don't like to spend a lot of money on Halloween costumes. It's not that you don't love Halloween, but like I'm pretty broke. So <laughs> over the years I've kind of made impromptu costumes and this is one of them. So I spent maybe like maybe $40 on everything that I'm using, um, except for like the tools, but like the actual products I'm using. I spent under $40 and what I'll be wearing is things that I already had in my house. So the look will include like me just wearing all black and then I'll do a little something with my hair and then the makeup should take us no more than like 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy this and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna try and zoom you guys in. Oops, wrong way, a little bit. So right now I have a clean face with just my normal skincare. I haven't even shaved um, and I just woke up as well. And my hair is a complete mess, but that's kind of like what we want for this look right now. So I did this look like two years ago, but I kind of wanted to beef it up. So I'm just gonna go to my Instagram and show you. Um, where is it? Uh, there we go. So we're going for kind of just like sunken in, a little dramatic around like the lips and like the eyes and everything. Um, this time around I kind of want to beef up the brows. Um, I have some like cotton that I'm going to use and just kind of like take this look to the next level. So I'm going to first start with the Merin, what is this, Fantasy Effects um, face paint in white. Now you can find Merin face paint at like your local party city or it's a party um, for just a few dollars. I think I spent like two dollars a tube. Um, and I only am using like three colors. So I'm just going to take some, actually like a pretty generous amount in the back of my hand. I'm just going to use my fingers actually. I'm going to come in really close because that's my mirror right there too. Okay, that's like scary enough. Like, I'm pretty terrified right now. Um, oh wow, well, the whiteness of my face is even like screwing with the lighting right now. That's so funny. Okay, so next, what am I gonna do? So next I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm gonna take that like all around my eyes um, and like through my brows and everything. So I have like a little palette. That, I'm going really closely and I have a little concealer brush here that I'm gonna go in with. The thing with black is like, you only need a touch. And I'm just gonna cover those areas that I couldn't get out with the white. So kind of like that, it's like very theatrical looking. Um, we kind of want to blend it out down here. And then I'm gonna go in really heavy in that like inner corner with some more black. I feel like when the inner corners are like super dark, it creates like an illusion of like losing the eye almost. Um, and that's like kind of scary. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the same thing in the other eye. This feels so weird. I'm just kind of give myself like big raccoon eyes for right now. We're gonna fix them later. Okay, so now what I just did was I took my like Morphe sponge and this is dry, it's not damp at all. And I kind of like messied it up. Like I'm kind of just like stamping, I'm kind of getting some texture on my skin. Um, I'm fading out the black. See how you can kind of see like a gradient of the black here mixed with a little bit of white. And there's like peaks of my skin. I'm, so next I'm gonna do like kind of the same thing on my lips with the black. Where's my mirror? Sorry, <laughs> I can't like use the viewfinder. I don't want them to be perfect, I just want them to be covered. 
it's gonna kind of okay good so next we're gonna take that same paddle brush right here um, I'm just gonna kind of dry clean it off with just a tissue so still like some remnants of black but I want it pretty much pretty clean because now I'm gonna like contour the face a little bit. Um, so on my palette, I have the white and the black. So I would do like 80% white, 20% black to make like a light gray. So first we're gonna start with the cheeks. So I'm starting at the top of my ear right there and bringing it down and about two inches away from my mouth, cutting it down. That's going to give us that like sunken in look. Oh my God, I keep going for that. I like my nose mirror and it's like not the product I actually want, so. And so we're going to let that kind of get sticky for a second um, and then just take our sponge and blend that in as well. I really want to blend that like in this part like right behind my sideburn as well to really make it look like it's natural looking. Well, <laughs> natural looking. I'm going to take some white and kind of clean that up. Okay, so I like what I'm working with so far. However, my nose is looking a little bit like disgusting. So we are going to try and just kind of contour that in a little bit. Um, because of like how tight my nose, like darkness came up there, it makes my nose look way bigger. So we're taking that same lighter gray, and with barely anything on the brush, I'm kind of just cutting in straight down from this line here. Now the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna kind of round off the tip here. Oop, I need more pigment. I'm starting to pick up the white. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean off the brush on the back of my hand a little bit and blend out what I just did. Okay, so the next thing I think I'm gonna do is an upside down cross. So I'm gonna get some pure good old black paint. My little, I don't know what you guys can say. I'm loading up the brush, but I'm cleaning off the edges because I want to have as much control with the tip as possible. I want it to be a very skinny cross. Yeah, that's perfect. I want to kind of work this all the way up to my hairline. I love how like messy this look okay so that's like pretty much it for like the actual makeup look next we're gonna do the hair so I'll zoom you guys out okay so hair is gonna be fairly easy I just have this like white neon hairspray from the like party city store um, oh and for the black color I don't think I showed you guys I used um, this the Marin black as well the same thing as the white so for this I kind of want to just have like crazy hair like everywhere um, and I'm just going to spray it white. So I like really concentrated at the root right here. Um, again, I want to like show you guys this cause like I got, blah, 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 blah. you guys know how to like put on hairspray, but I kind of love showing a little bit of my brown. Um, so let's kind of leave that. I need to like.
like I like these front pieces all set. So for the brows, um, I'm gonna kind of use this like cotton. It originally comes like this. It originally comes like this, so it's like kind of established, but like you can still kind of pull it apart. And I'm just gonna get these really thin, kind of long pieces. Now I want my brows, so like this is gonna be my brow. I just wanna kind of like beef them up a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of lay down. Oh crap, I got a bunch of black paint on my, on myself. Some like heavy black. and like put this in there for texture. So I want my brows to be like messy and like bushy. And I'm gonna kind of paint over. I like that. Just a very subtle like, like texture effect. And kind of sticking it on like that. The direction that I'm moving in is like upwards. Like I want the brows to be like up and angry and like defined. So I'm using as much black as I possibly can. There we go. Sorry, I like forgot to show you guys that. Okay, we got our contacts in, and this is the finished look, you guys. I just have like a black button up. Um, I have like these mesh contacts in that are like making me cry right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for today's look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a happy Halloween. Bye.